Hello? Wildcard has teased the Ford Hawk, and I'm sure by now you've seen the trailer. What does the trailer tell us? Well, the Ford Hawk looks like it definitely takes off with our inventory, which is really neat. This concept is going to be awesome if it's pulled off correctly. Well, how will Wildcard do this though? Let us know in the comments below how you think Wildcard will handle the Fjord Hawk mechanics. There are some good ways to do this and some not so good ways. A system that would work similar is already in the game. The Delivery Crate. Anyone who has used this knows it has issues, especially getting stuck or just stopping when de-rendered. So how would Wildcard get around this? Well, they could have the Hawk go all the way to the Skybox, then fly across the Skybox and down to the player. But there needs to be a way around the de-rendering issue. With that solved, the other issues would be the clipping into buildings and terrain getting stuck. This could be resolved with a boolean check that toggles the Hawk's collision on and off depending on its state. But is this the best way and does the trailer support this idea? If we notice in the trailer the Hawk flies straight up when the player dies, and when the player comes back the Hawk appears at just slightly higher than the player's vision and flies to the player. Now this could be an editing trick where they whistle the bird in to make it look like it's working, but I believe it reveals much more about how the hawk works than we think it does. If I were designing a game mechanic to do what the hawk is supposed to do, I would have the hawk fly straight up after the player dies and continue to fly up until the player responds. At this point, the hawk would then disappear and appear near the player, flying to the player. I would also toggle the collision so that it only collides with structures during the return process after the player dies. By having it go straight up until the player responds, this allows for some counterplay from new players. After all, looting kits is an exciting part of PvP. The reasoning behind only being blocked by structures is you do not want to kill a player looting your base only to have the hawk take off and go through your roof, giving you no chance to get your dinos or gear back. This could easily be achieved by having the Hawk, when picked up and put on the player's shoulder, becoming the child of that player. Then when the player dies, a check fires off and the Hawk's co-decides if it was thrown off the shoulder or if the player died. If the player died, it stays attached as a child of the player and pulls the information from the player. The player's death timer and position are already known and the code on the Hawk object could simply access it and make call functions based on the player's data rather than working on a bunch of new code and variables for the Hawk object actor. Of course, Collision Unreal is pretty simple and you can assign tags to different collision objects, so therefore buildings could have a different tag than terrain and you can just simply toggle tags on and off. Then the Hawk can only collide with whatever you don't want it to go through to make counterplaying better. So like you could maybe fly a Quetzal above a bunch of people that you're about to kill that have Hawks on there or something, you know, and trap their Hawks. So how would Wildcard make the Hawk disappear and reappear though? One way of doing this would be similar to uploading the Hawk. It would get saved in the server database, then loaded near the player location. This would not be the best way though, as this would create a load on the server. While it may not be a huge load, imagine turrets being soaked while 30 players intentionally killed themselves over and over and someone turned lights on and off with their generators. This could potentially create a lag or even a server crash. Personally, I would use mechanics that are already in the game and in mods. I would set it so that the Fjordhawk would teleport to an area near the player, then fly to the player. This would be a very simple and easy solution. We will have to wait and see which direction Wildcard goes with this mechanic, but what about taming the Fjordhawk? My best guess currently is that we will have to kill dinos and drag them to the hawk for them to eat it, similar to the otter. It could also be like the Armagosaurus, where we have to do a trick to get it to fight alongside us, but I think that would make less sense. Or we may have to steal eggs from Nest, which would be pretty simple, just raise the baby and bam, you have a little hawk. But I expect the new tames to be tameable, more like with the mod Immersive Taming, as I believe this is the direction Wildcard wants to take taming in Arc 2, and they are testing the mechanics in Arc 1 and getting player feedback so they can perfect it in Arc 2. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Have an awesome day.